Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I want to talk about DNS, a uh, very important service. It's domain name service. Uh, it takes and translates every domain name that you're searching for into an IP address that's associated with that domain name. Without the DNS, uh, we would not be able to connect to any uh, websites on the network or on the internet without knowing their IP address. Uh, nobody keeps track of those IP addresses and that's why we use domain name service. Now, the domain name service is an application uh, layer protocol. Talked about application layers before. It's part of the OSI model. Uh, networking students uh, right away uh, would recognize that application layer because it's a very important layer for the OSI model. And it's used by the World Wide Web and it's very important uh, for the internet to make it work. Uh, used by web browsers. If I was to plug in or type into my URL, uh, apple.com, uh, I would be able to connect to Apple.com using this DNS service. Now, oftentimes, if the DNS service is not working or you're not able to connect or use Google or be able to search the Internet, it's often uh, a problem with the DNS. And it could be local. could be your service provider. That service might be uh, either jammed, uh, overloaded, not working, and maintenance. Uh, oftentimes, if you're having difficulties connecting, it's because of the domain name service. Now here's a picture of a couple of users trying to connect. Uh, one's trying to connect to IBM.com, uh, the other one's Apple. Uh, what I would do is it would type in IBM uh, using Google or type it into URL. Uh, when you first uh, try to get to IBM, the computer is going to check its local cache uh, to see if you've connected to that before. If you have, it'll know what its IP address is. If you haven't connected to it, it'll, it'll use a local uh, uh, DNS service might be your router. If it can't find it on the router's cache, it'll go to your service provider and check the uh, DNS there. If that DNS server doesn't have it, then it will go out to the Internet, into the World Wide Web, and check uh, one of the 13 servers that support the entire Internet. Most of these servers are in the United States, but there are some overseas. Uh, again, we've got another, ser uh, another user over here trying to connect to Apple.com, and again, it will check the local computer to see if it's, you've connected to that before. If you have, it'll, it'll know what the IP address is. If it hasn't, it'll go out to your uh, router or whatever's providing your immediate service. Look to check if it's in that cache. If not, it'll go to the service provider's DNS. If the service provider doesn't have it, it'll end up going into the Internet and checking one of the main uh, DNS servers. Uh, you can also just type in uh, IBM's IP address by typing in 129.42.38.1 uh, into the URL, click enter, and you'll immediately connect uh, to that IBM website. Because each website has an IP address that's associated with it, and that's how the computers connect. Now, if you're interested in finding uh, what server you're using, uh, you can go to your start button, go to run, type in CMD, and you get to this command prompt. And at the command prompt, type in ipconfig space slash all and you'll get this information here. This is a lot of information but one of the things that supplies is the DNS servers. Now this first one that comes up is my uh, router here and there's a cache in there so it's going to select that first and check it. If it doesn't have it it'll end up looking at the server that is supplied by my uh, by my service my internet service provider. It'll check that server. If it's not in there, then that server will go out and make requests uh, to one of the main servers, and then supply uh, that request so I can connect to that website. Uh, in summary, domain name service uh, application layer protocol very important for connecting every user to the internet. Without this service, we would have to have a list of all those IP addresses in order to connect. Uh, fortunately, the DNS service provides that, uh, and it's very necessary to keep the Internet running. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be making more of these. See you soon.